गाइस वेलकम टू अनदर फ्रेश एपिसोड ऑफ योर फेवरेट शो गैजेट्स 360 विद टेक्निकल गुरुजी मुझे पता है कि आप सभी इंतजार करते हो कि कब ये शो आए एंड आपको कब कुछ नया मिल जाए नो समथिंग न्यू समथिंग एक्सक्लूसिव फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड ऑफ गैजेट्स वैसे आज कुछ ऐसा ही होने वाला है एक बार फिर से आई हैव गॉट समथिंग वेरी यूनिक फॉर यू बहुत ज्यादा मजा आने वाला है माय नेम इज गौरव ए के टेक्निकल गुरु जी जल्दी से आगे बढ़ते हैं चलिए शुरू करते हैं राइज मूविंग अहेड विद आर रिचुअल सबसे पहले जान लेते हैं क्या थी इस पूरे वीक की न्यूज ऑफ द वीक The OnePlus Nord CE3 launched. Twitter ने अपना नेम चेंज कर दिया है टू X and this includes the app's name as well. Geo Book 2 लॉन्च हो गया है एम किया गया है स्टूडेंट्स की तरफ और बहुत ही अफोर्डेबल प्राइस में आता है Motorola ने लॉन्च किया है एक नया बजट फोन विच इज दी जी फोर्टीन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट टीम्स ने एड किए हैं नए फीचर्स ताकि कोलेबोरेशन एनहेंस हो जाए पेटीएम पॉकेट साउंड बॉक्स हैज बिन लॉन्च इन इंडिया वीवो ने भी एक नया फोन लॉन्च किया है द वीवो वी ट्वेंटी नाइन Lenovo has launched their LOQ gaming laptop series in India. Samsung ने भी अपना एक अल्ट्रा लग्जरी 110 इंच का माइक्रो एलईडी टीवी लॉन्च किया है रिसेंटली एंड गूगल उन्होंने ऐड किया है एक अननोन ट्रैकर अलर्ट तो गाइज फॉर आर टॉप स्टोरी ऑफ द वीक मैं आपको लेके जाने वाला हूं अ फ्यू थाउजेंड किलोमीटर अवे बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टू कोरिया वन मोर टाइम वैसे मैं था पिछले हफ्ते वहां पे फॉर द सैमसंग अनपैक बट उसी ट्रिप के दौरान आई हैड अ चांस टू मीट पैट्रिक फ्रॉम सैमसंग बहुत अच्छी बातें हुई हैं काफी एक्सक्लूसिव बातें हुई हैं सो लेट्स हियर स्ट्रेट फ्रॉम पैट्रिक की आखिर क्या बातें हुई हैं चलिए शुरू करते हैं ग्रेट इट्स अ नाइस टाइम टू स्टार्ट कंसिडरिंग वट ऑल वी हैव इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस it was just yesterday in the evening that you know you announced everything i think we'll come to these but let's go a bit in the history let's talk about the journey how it's been well uh 1988 so if you saw it is what this kind of a brick brick <laughs> to be honest a brick yeah. it's it's kind, it's kind of a brick yeah. and actually i started my life in the industry also in 1988 and also is de- developing the first generation of a digital mobile phone okay and i felt at that time no one in the industry believed what would happen actually i remember marketing people were saying by year 2000 in 10 years there will be 2 million mobile phones in europe oh and we are saying these marketing guys they are crazy <laughs> it's insane because at the time these were bricks yeah. and they costed $20,000 and uh, the most popular device was of course the little pager that people had that ah, were doing yeah. uh, text I, rem- i remember dad having one just just getting the yeah. messages yes just the messages that's yeah. where the thing that people would have in enterprise and the big bricks phone they were for like very high end professional or cars people yeah. would have them in the cars so how kind of you know you make sure that whatever you're trying to make it's not just kind of fantastic in terms of hardware but also has enough options or enough optimization software so that the end user is able to take full advantage of the phone uh, as you've seen we've put a lot of focus especially in the last 3 uh, 4 years on on one ui yeah. and uh, the, this foldable as you said we we started the foldable display technology 10 years ago the first time i saw it was 2012 in the lab it took us that many years to get the hardware to the right oh. manufacturability but also I started to talk to uh, Hiroshi uh, Lokaimer at Google and the Android team uh, like 2 years before the launch about what we need to do on Android to mm. enable for example on this phone if you start a session on the main screen uh, and you see that that thing you will continue you have seamless a, seamless continuity so that means we had to work with the android team a long time in advance mm. to get the app uh, mechanism at OS level to open up the screen continuity its uniqueness lies in two things two words innovation so and openness hmm. innovation means we try to touch all device categories and all use cases with amazing things like foldable displays and pans and amazing cameras as well as innovating the experience with things like flex mode multitasking multi window and that's at the core of what we are doing with the one ui yeah is basically from the onboarding and setting like you pair devices qr code or one click it should be connected so from onboarding the devices to connecting them together we are trying to get the complexity away from the consumer we have to do the hard job so from the customer point of view it just have to work seamlessly patrick what's your vision going forward 
very, very, very casual. Very, very casual. It's simple. Yeah. Keep innovating. Ah. So uh, how we will keep innovating in a dimension that you expect and some that you may not expect. So keep innovating. So we'll make these things even more attractive, compelling. Hopefully at some point there will be new devices coming into the ecosystem. So we'll innovate each and every device category. Even on the on the smartphone, you see we, have, we are working with people who have visual impairment or audio impairment as yeah. a priority. Yeah. And you will see that increasingly we try to make the UI much more easy and much more discoverable for those uh, people. My ultimate goal is almost uh, crazy, is one day there should not be an accessibility menu because the devices should know and adapt to you entirely with intelligence that's, and AI. I mean, that's our big mission. So yeah. I believe uh, full inclusion and accessibility is a key innovation area. Mm. And last but not the least, I would say we can't not talk about sustainability. Oh, yeah. So by three things, so the packaging is all sorted, there is yeah. no entirely recyclable, no plastic. Uh, the components, what we do, so actually these buttons, you would believe, hmm. they are coming from uh, fishing nets, which are uh, recycled from the sea. So we recover fishing nets from the sea, plastic, and increasingly use them for parts. The glass is partly recyclable, the aluminum, increasingly, components. And last but not the least, the life cycle. Yeah. Because uh, it's not about producing things, so we make sure that people can use the devices longer. For longer, yeah. So five-year security upgrade, four-year OS upgrade, repair capabilities, so the increasing the life cycle, giving people choice. So yeah. sustainability is another big dimension for us for the future. Out of the, the, the new flip and the new fold, personally, personally I'm saying, which one are you more excited about? Oh, personally, uh, because I'm, I'm working so much. Okay. So I, I need this because I, I need oh. big display. I need because I need the big display to read. But this is, uh, uh, people tell me, um, I'm getting old, me. this is so cool. Because I must tell you, um, whenever I travel to big tech expos like CES or MWC, I always go to the Samsung displays booth <laughs> and there, each year, I mean, it's something unique. So sometimes it's a rollable screen. Sometimes it's a screen which kind of, you know, fold both sides. So what my belief is that Samsung definitely has the technology, but is waiting for the right time so that, uh, I mean, the software is developed, the kind of, you know, entire experience is matured before we see such devices in future. Absolutely. Yeah. That's just one word for you. Like I, I thought, I thought you would say something in Absolutely. detail. Absolutely. So we, oh, I, I was about to give you a secret. There's a problem. So you talk about uh, all kind of new devices. Of course, we are preparing all these new devices with all this technology. But you say is so correct. Yeah. It's not just having the new form factor or hardware yeah. technology. You need to think about: is it meaningful to consumers? Yeah. Uh, what's the experience? Yeah. And can we bring with us the ecosystem of? partners, software developers to make the full package yeah. and that would drive the launch time. You all got some uh, you know, uh, amazing information in terms of uh, how Samsung has been, what Samsung is doing right now and how Samsung wants to be while we see you know, in, in the future. Thank you Patrick. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so time now for some interesting tech trivia. Guys, if I ask you, what is a bug, especially in you know, the field of computers, you know that a bug is kind of like you know, an error that is maybe wrong in a program and to make that program work, you need to debug the complete software. It's like very simple, obvious right now. But, you know when was the world's first computer bug discovered? It was an actual bug, by the way. This was 9th September 1947. At that time, Harvard University, the teams thi, they were confused because their computer, which was a Mark II, was giving them random errors. So finally, when they opened up the electronics of the system, they discovered that there's an actual physical bug inside. Tha, it was a moth, just why the electronics were disrupted and the system was not performing as expected. That was the world's first bug. And today, the software engineers are thinking about how many people are debugging in their codes. Now, guys, before we proceed, it's time now for a short break. But right after it, I've got something exciting for you. Something exciting for the students. It's big, it's blue. It's from Geo. We'll have a closer look at that, but right after the short break. Now, 
तो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू योर फेवरेट शो ऑफ गैजेट्स गैजेट्स 360 सिक्सटी विथ टेक्निक रूजी जहां पे मैं आपसे बात करता हूं नए नए गैजेट्स के बारे में और अभी जो लेटेस्ट है इज दिस The all new Geo Book 11 and this is the latest edition. It's a laptop which is you know specially designed for students you know with a custom OS the kind of hardware which is at times necessary for students. So let's have a closer look ki aakhir Geo ne is laptop mein kya cheeze pack kari hain and is it worthy of the price tag which is 16499 rupees. Let's have a closer look about this new Geo Book 11. This is the all new Geo Book और ये बन सकता है आपका ultimate learning partner. The Geo Book aims at making learning more affordable and accessible और ये absolutely packed है features से सबसे पहले design की बात कर लेते हैं The Geo Book इसका एक sleek matte finish है ये super light है because it only weighs 990 हंड्रेड एंड नाइनटी ग्राम्स और ये फीचर करता है एक इन्फिनिटी की बोर्ड फॉर अ स्मूद एंड ईजी टाइपिंग एक्सपीरियंस प्लस जैसा आप देख रहे हैं इट हैज अ लार्ज ट्रैक पैड इस लैपटॉप में पोर्ट्स भी बहुत सारे हैं एक सिम कार्ड स्लॉट है एक 3.5 पॉइंट mm एम हेडफोन जैक है ए माइक्रो एस कार्ड स्लॉट है दो यूएसबी पोर्ट्स हैं 2.0 पॉइंट एंड और एक मिनी एच पोर्ट एज वेल इसका डिस्प्ले एक 11.6 इंच एंटाई ग्लेयर एलईडी डिस्प्ले है जिसमें एच रेजोल्यूशन आता है विच इज ग्रेट फॉर लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ वेब सर्फिंग ई लर्निंग या फिर इन ई लर्निंग के जो लॉन्ग बाउट है इनके बीच में शॉर्ट ब्रेक्स प्लेइंग गेम्स के लिए दिस डिवाइस ऑल्सो फीचर्स ए टू मेगा पिक्सल एच डी वेब कैम और इसमें स्टेरियो स्पीकर भी हैं एक और हाईलाइट जो इस डिवाइस में है वो है ऑलवेज ऑन फोर जी विच मीन्स यू कैन रिमेन कनेक्टेड टू द इंटरनेट एनी टाइम एनी वेयर फॉर अन इंटरप्टेड लर्निंग इस लैपटॉप को पावर करता है मीडिया टेक का एट सेवन डबल एट ऑक्टा को प्रोसेसर अलॉन्ग विद फोर गिगा बाइट्स ऑफ रैम जो मोर देन केपेबल है ऑफ डिलीवरिंग वॉट दिस डिवाइस इज डिजाइन टू आपको 64 गीगाबाइट्स का स्टोरेज भी मिलता है जिसको आप एक्सपैंड कर सकते हैं अप टू 256 जीबी एक माइक्रो एस कार्ड के थ्रू जियो बुक में एक 4000 थाउजेंड की कैपेसिटी की बैटरी है जिसकी वजह से इसका यूसेज रफली अराउंड 8 आवर्स आ जाता है विच इज ह्यूज ये रन करता है जियो ओ में जो काफी सिमिलर है बाकी ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम से जिसकी आपको आदत भी है सो देर इज नो लर्निंग कर्व इन्वॉल्व इन गेटिंग अप टू स्पीड विद दिस डिवाइस This device has certain additional features such as Geo BIAN, ये एक Linux based coding environment है budding coders and Geo Games Cloud जो users को access देता है to a large library of games जब आप unwind करना चाहते हैं Priced at सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एंड नाइनटी नाइन द जियो बुक इज बाउंड टू शेक अप द एंट्री लेवल सेगमेंट और ये एक अफोर्डेबल येट फीचर पैक प्रोडक्ट है स्टूडेंट्स के लिए स्पेशली तो गाइज एज यू सो आई मीन द न्यू जियो बुक इलेवन फॉर दिस ईयर इज कैंड ऑफ एन इंटरेस्टिंग ऑप्शन फॉर द स्टूडेंट बिकॉज यू नो द वे इट गिवस यू दिस कस्टमाइजेशन जियो ओ एस है हमारे पास में सो आई मीन यू नो ऑल द बेसिक एप्स द काइंड ऑफ रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर द स्टूडेंट दे आर काइंड ऑफ कवर्ड और साथ में आई थिंक द बेस्ट पार्ट दैट दिस लैपटॉप हैज इज दिस बिकॉज विद इंटीग्रेटेड फोर जी सिम कार्ड इट इज ऑलवेज कनेक्टेड की मतलब आप अपने क्लास रूम में हैं या कहीं बाहर भी हैं स्टिल यू हैव द एक्सेस टू डेटा और मुझे लगता है कि विद द काइंड ऑफ यू नो सेट ऑफ एप्लीकेशन फ्रॉम जियो स्टोर एंड इंक्लूडिंग द चैट बॉट स्टूडेंट्स के लिए यू नो स्पेशली फॉर सम लाइट कैजुअल स्टफ अगर उनको कुछ नया सीखना है या इफ दे वांट टू वर्क ऑन सम डॉक्यूमेंट्स दिस कैन ऑफ बिकम्स एन इंटरेस्टिंग अफोर्डेबल ऑप्शन फ्रॉम जियो द ऑल न्यू जियो बुक 11 2023 Guys, as we are approaching the end of this episode, मतलब ये मेरा फेवरेट पार्ट होता है फॉर ईच एपिसोड बिकॉज इट्स टाइम अबाउट आस्क टी जी और यहां पर मैं ट्राई करता हूं जो आपने सवाल पूछे होते हैं ना फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड ऑफ टेक उन सभी के जवाब देने के बारे में I mean, every time we have such a great variety of questions. I think इस बार भी ऐसे होने वाला है Let's see क्या आपके क्वेश्चन हैं मैं देने वाला हूं जवाब एक एक करके You want a long answer or a short one? A short one would be no, and a long one would be no, not at all. See, I mean, you just need to be careful. कि आप जो एप्लीकेशन डाउनलोड कर रहे हैं वो आप ट्रस्टेड सोर्सेज से कर रहे हैं या नहीं आई मीन डोंट क्लिक एनी रैंडम लिंक्स डोंट डाउनलोड द अटैचमेंट फ्रॉम योर ई मेल डोंट जस्ट इंस्टॉल द रैंडम ए पी के फाइल्स एंड आई मीन इफ यू जस्ट लिमिट योर सेल्फ टू द गूगल प्ले स्टोर और इन केस ऑफ एन आई फोन टू द एपल एप स्टोर यू आर सॉर्टेड नो नीड फॉर एंटी वायरस इफ यू आर यूजिंग अ स्मार्ट फोन हाई टेक गुरु जी दिस इज लवना 
So I have a question for you. What devices do you use on a daily basis and how have they changed your life? Okay, so if I talk about the daily tech, the daily tech devices I use, uh, I mean obviously uh, I have my smartwatch, I have two of my smartphones, uh, where one is Android and the other phone is the iPhone. Hai. Saath mein I've got one iPad and a MacBook. Uh, earphones bhi hai, in fact, I've got AirPods. So I think the way all these devices work together is kind of enabler at times because if I have to do something and watch a notification, I've got my watch for that. If I have to check my health data, oh, watch helps there. Mobile phones, you all know the kind of, you know, um, stuff it helps you with so that's all hai obviously a tab let's say for entertainment or if you want to do something if you want a bigger canvas laptop again for serious stuff and the way you know these devices communicate together I think this is not if you are using any smart device even if you have just a smartphone and nothing else that also helps you on a daily basis to do something new to learn Hi Technical Guruji, I am Harshit Kalra and I have a question for you Can updating a software result in slowing down a phone or a computer's performance? Sometimes, yes, uh, sometimes, no so okay, I'll tell you कि होता क्या है। See, uh, normally जब आपने एक phone लिया या आपने computer लिया, it comes with a certain you know a version of a software और वो ठीक काम कर रहा है, you know everything is optimized, सब कुछ ठीक चल रहा है। But as you you know proceed, अगर आप दो साल बाद या तीन साल बाद की बात करते हो, so your hardware is definitely outdated, but the software which you are installing as an update, वो एकदम latest है। Sometimes the requirements are different, sometimes maybe the optimization is not done kind of, you know, well enough So you have problems, you can feel like yes, my system is slow ho gaya hai. And guys, I'll tell you what, at times, brand also do it purposefully उनको नया फोन बेचना है, उनको नए लैपटॉप्स को बेचना है So sometimes they would, I mean at times, John Booch can slow your devices so that you can feel that you have a little slow or a little old and it's time to buy a new one again. There's a lot of things. Okay, so guys, that's about it. I hope that you will enjoy this episode as with every week. I mean, every time I try to kind of compile the best and the best of gadgets to bring to you. So this week, if you have any suggestion, if you want you know, any questions to be answered, if you have any feedback, you know the address. It's tg at the rate ndtv.com. I am looking forward to all your emails, all your messages and in the meantime, stay tuned, enjoy all your gadgets and I am going to see you next week in your favorite show. Abhi ke liye itna hi, have a good day.